Hey guys, Pedem here again. Today we will be opening something pretty darn sweet, if I can say so myself. And uh, honestly, I haven't seen many of these opened in the last few years because they're getting rarer. They're pretty old. We have something from Europe this time. We have the Legendary Collection Binder. Yes, this is the binder, not the Game Board Edition. And this one is from Europe. This is the R European ed Edition. Basically, instead of having the six packs that you would have in the North American version, we do have six packs. But it's two copies of Blue Eyes, two copies of Metal Raiders, and two copies of Pharaoh's Servant. I was pretty happy when I got my hands on this for a pretty decent deal on Amazon. And uh, I had some free shipping too, and two days shipping. That was epic. So uh, yeah, first set two times, my favorite set two times, and Pharaoh's Servant, one of my favorite sets also, twice in this box, instead of having the usual, um, I believe, Invasion of Chaos and uh, Magic Ruler, or Spell Ruler actually, and uh, those Dark Crisis I believe usually is also in there. So instead of having those packs, we have some reprinted packs of awesomeness. So the Konami seal is off. We have some very old school stuff in here, and I'm just so happy to open this. I've only ever opened one of these binders in the past, and it was a North American one when it first came out. I did not know back then that the uh, European version was different. And here we have it, the binder. So we have the three Egyptian gods, which I will not take out because they're basically the same print as the ones from the uh, Game Board Edition. But still, they will be gladly sitting back there with their colors. And we have our packs. And wow, do they look great. They actually shine. The packs are foiled, man. They're foil. This is insane. I'm just going to put this down right here. Try to open it delicately, not to blow anything up. We will be taking out this little thing, closing the binder. There we go. Is there a way I could put this in the back without the glare killing the camera? I hope this won't fall during the filming. There we go. We, did, we can't see Ovilisk, but it's still better than nothing, right guys? So here we have it. It looks just so epic. This brings back so many memories. This is much more nostalgic than those Game Board Edition guys. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really care for the Game Boards and stuff like that since I've bought so many of those boxes. But this is insanely nostalgic for me. This was one of my first binders I've used for my uh, um, collections when I was younger. And now I have another chance at opening one. This is just great. I'm sleeving up the cards before we take a closer look at them because these might be normal promos that you also get in the Legendary uh, Collection Game Board Edition. But these ones are European print. They are a little darker and the ink is slightly different, but they look amazing. So here we have Blue Eyes White Dragon. Right there we go. We have Dark Magician, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, but there are many wizards who actually beat it. Kind of sad, but it was the most epic card back then. And we have Red Eyes Black Dragon, a ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. It does have a very powerful attack for whatever dragon that is. And here we have our packs. I, I, I just can't get myself to actually remove them. They look so great where they are. This is insane. Look at how much they shine. Usually packs over here are a little more matte, but these just shine. These babies are amazing. So I'm putting them down here. I don't think you guys can see them too well. Uh, my camera can't really go back any more than this. Um, I'll try to move this binder back a bit, move this a, a bit. Okay, so you, at least, you guys can at least see the top three packs. We'll start with the bottom ones. Let's start with Pharaoh's Servant. I'll try to be very delicate with these packs, because if I can conserve them, to put them back in those uh, little pockets they came in, those little sockets, 
That would be amazing. Okay, I just I just have to take a whiff. This is old as hell. Oh, you guys, it smells like old ink. It's great. I just love this. This is a very awesome way to end the first month of this year. So we have Mystic Probe. A uh, very old school trap. Never used for much, but still. We have the Regulation of Tribe. Flame Champion. Something that would be very awesome from Pharaoh's Servant would be um, Thousand Eyes Restrict, obviously. But I believe we could also get uh, maybe Jinzo in here. Or um, that, I think it's Imperial Order that's also in here as a secret rare. That would be very awesome. Time Seal, very powerful card from back then. The Shallow Grave. Um, this kind of old school reprint pack, I don't know if they do still have a chance at getting a rare and a foil. So maybe we'll see a surprise, maybe we won't. But the Shallow Grave was very cool card, very used, very used in um, uh, flip effect decks back then. The All-Seeing White Tiger. Cold Wave, nice. Insect Barrier. And Souls of the Forgotten. I just gotta read this. A wicked spirit created by the hateful souls of those who fell in battle. It grows by assimilating the souls of its enemies. It's just... They had so gr such great descriptions for vanilla monsters back then. They had that little creepy feeling, you know? Next, we will be opening another Pharaoh's Servant. Or should we open... Now, we'll open Metal Raiders. I know it's my favorite pack and I wanted it... Uh, I wanted to keep it for the end. But we'll go with it right away because... We'll open the three final packs up top at the end. I just want to take another whiff. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, oh, smells great. It smells like well-invested money and time for a hobby. We have Ground Attacker Burgroff. A surface battle robot that was once used for sea warfare. Crawling Dragon, very cool. And as you can see, the European print has MRD for Metal Raiders, but instead of having EN for English, they only have E. They don't have the N. So, uh, very interesting. Little thing to notice there. Ring of Magnetism. Empress Judge. And Great Moth. At least we didn't get a crappy rare. This is a very powerful rare from back then. Water Omotics. Uh, one of the most famous um, cards that was censored. Destroyer Golem. So basically, we didn't get any foils yet, but we still have four packs. Mushroom Man number two. Block Attack. So yeah, uh, we're not off to a great start, but we're not off to a bad start either. The packs just look so great, and I'm taking such care with them. At some point, they should reward us, right? Let's go with Blue Eyes White Dragon, the Legend of. This time around, I won't sniff it because the, the other two packs we 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 had a whiff and uh, we didn't get lucky. So maybe this one will be lucky if we don't whiff it. Forest, Kegemusha of the Blue Flame. This was one of the cards I really enjoyed when I was a kid. Yami, Spike Cedra. And Spirit of the Harp. No foils. Oh, we got a foil. I was wrong. We can get a foil and a rare. We have a secret rare Trihorned Dragon. L-O-B-E triple zero. An unworthy dragon with three sharp horns sprouting from its head. Wow. Sleeving it up. Just, just sleeving it up before any um, sweat or spit or anything goes on it. There we go. Wow, we got a secret rare out of these. The European print trihorned dragon. Mint condition fresh from the pack. Sadly, it's not a first ed, but it's hard to get first ed blue eyes packs. So we'll put it in the back over there. We'll finish this pack. Root water, basic insect, and green phantom knight. Uh, green phantom king, pardon me, king. Mr. King, very, very important person. But yeah, we got a secret rare out of this. This just made the whole opening worth it. If we could get another foil, that would be very much appreciated. 
We only have three packs left. Let's go for our final Pharaoh's Servant. Let's see if we can get some amazing pulls again. We just got one hell of a great secret rare. You don't see those very often from those old packs. Oh, this has actually this. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. There's a line on the back of the card. I hope the whole pack's not damaged. Earth Shaker, Ground Collapse, Flying Kamakiri number two, Burning Land, Rare Red Moon Baby. One of the old school zombies. We have Fairy Meteor Crush. Nice, super rare. Wow, is it damaged? Is it lined in the back? It is not too much. There seems to be a little like line, but it's it's not a line. It's more of like a scratch or something in the middle. But it's it's really really little, and it doesn't really make much to the front, which is the most important part of the card. Fairy Meteor Crush, Pharaoh Servant sixty three, very awesome. Allows you to do some piercing damage. Gift of the Mystical Elf, Drillbug, and Three-Headed Gido, or Gido. Wow, so we got two foils, one super and one secret. Hopefully this will keep on going. Because uh, this was one very interesting find on Amazon, guys. Let's go with Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. If we can get another foil out of this pack, that would be insane. This This is just great. But look at how shiny these packs are, man. This is ridiculously awesome. Let's see if we can get any more luck. We got a secret rare and a super rare out of four packs. Usually it's one foil per three packs, but it does happen that you get more and it does happen that you get less. So let's see what happens. Spark to inflict 200 damage to your opponent's life points. Fire Yahoo! Dissolve a rock. Fire grass. So a lot of fire stuff right now. Dragon capture jar. Very classic rare. And, ooh, we didn't get a foil, but we got tripwire beast. One of the OG thunder monsters. Two mouthed dark ruler. Never understood why this did not fuse into the monster that was in Metal Raiders, but thunder dragon did. This looks like it much more, but whatever. The 13th grave. And Umi, nice. This was a very, very sought after card uh, back then because a lot of people enjoyed playing the fish cards, um, especially with Mako Tsunami and stuff like that coming out in the anime and stuff. But they also had some pretty strong cards for uh, the water monsters at first in this uh, game. Just trying to unfold that little part over there. There we go. Final pack, can we get a very awesome opening or will we just end this with a normal rare? Let's find out. Final pack of Destiny, Metal Raiders, favorite pack ever. Come on, give us some love. We got a foil from Pharaoh's Servant. We got a awesome foil from Blue Eyes. Metal Raiders, you need to give us something. We can't end this video with you being Cast Shadow Upon. Rock Ogre Roto number one. Germ Infection. Giltia the D Knight. Killer Needle. Ooh, we got Little Chimera. And do we get a foil? Do we get a fo No foils, but we got Petite Moth. Petite Moth. This small but deadly creature is better off avoided. We got Paralyzing Potion, Big Eye, and Morin Fan, nice! <laughs> we got the meme card, nice! A strange fiend with long arms and razor sharp talons. This card has been such a meme for a while. Uh, a lot of people just enjoy the art on this and Konami just doesn't care for this card at all. But this is a very funny pull to get. We did not get a foil, but our final card was a very interesting card, Morin Fan. So yeah, this was our opening of this uh, Legendary Collection um, binder opening, basically. Uh, this was the European print, and we got two foils out of six packs. It's not a great loot, 
but it's still very useful loot for collectors, especially since we got a secret rare Trihorned Dragon. So let's take a quick look again at Fairy Meteor Crush. This looks great in European print. Like the ink is just so much darker and clearer. And we got Trihorned Dragon. Look at that secret rare guy go. Nice. Very cool. So yeah, this will conclude this video. Uh, January is and has been going strong. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for another vid this month after this one, but do look forward to a lot more awesome content. Uh, we have some very interesting OCG stuff in the mail coming over from Korea, from Japan. We have some very awesome stuff to look forward to in the TCG with the uh, release of um, Extreme Force, I believe is the next set, which will be coming out pretty soon, early February. And we will have some pretty interesting stuff coming out for collectors, also starting in February, because we have the um, uh, Lost Art uh, Collection, or Legendary Art Collection, whatever, which has the alternate art of um, Monster Reborn, and the alternate arts for um, the cards uh, that compose Exodia. They are supposed to release one different card per month, so the first one should come out in February. So you guys should stay tuned for that. Uh, not miss a thing, you should subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot more content coming your way as I just described. So um, do not miss a thing, subscribing and hitting the bell is the best option. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these, like the video and leave a comment to have suggestions or if you just want to say hi, feel free to do so. I always enjoy having little chats with you guys. I really do enjoy sharing my passion with the with you guys for this hobby. So uh, yeah, and if you enjoy sharing just as much as I do, share this video with your friends. Sharing is caring, guys, and uh, caring is what this world is all about. So until next time, guys, Panem out.